Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. Sucralose. Both animal and human studies have suggested a link between sucralose ingestion and raised insulin levels. In one study, 17 people were given either sucralose or water and then administered a glucose tolerance test, 10. Those given sucralose had 20% higher blood insulin levels, 0.3 June 2017. Take our lead. Sucralose and the microbiome research in rodents shows that sucralose upsets the microbiome balance, and that can lead to increased inflammation. We know long-term inflammation can contribute to a variety of problems, including obesity and diabetes, says Patton.12 January 2021. Make your mark, take our lead. It's considered safe in small amounts, except for people with phenylketonuria, a genetic disease. Sucralose, also known as Splenda, passes through the body easily and does not build up in body fat. It's also 600 times sweeter than sugar, so a little goes a long way. 13 September 2016. Make your mark, take our lead. Sucralose-induced elevated pro-inflammatory gene expression in liver. As described above, sucralose could increase the production of bacterial pro-inflammatory mediators, which may cause inflammatory responses in host tissues after being translocated into the host circulation. 24 July 2017. Make your mark, take our lead. For some people, it may raise blood sugar and insulin levels. It may also damage the bacterial environment in your gut, but this needs to be studied in humans. The safety of sucralose at high temperatures has also been questioned. You may want to avoid cooking or baking with it, as it may release harmful compounds. 13 September 2017. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.